hi what's good youtuber in today's video we are going to be looking at on how to create you know a uh, you know calendar for a nigerian couple in corridor 2020 without further ado let's step into it so here are the pictures that we're going to make use of so right now let's go over how to change our page to uh a2 change to a2 which is the normal size of calendar then you go over to your uh rectangle to double click on that automatically snap into page so let's create uh the basement in which we are going to you know uh infuse all these pictures and uh test so this is the main picture that we are going to use so let's you know make a copy of the layer so i click on the layer on the object then you locate convert to curve so automatically it curve mind you if you did not you know curve this object most definitely you won't be able to get access to maneuver the uh, object so if you right click then you convert to curve you'll be able to uh, maneuver the object so go over to your shape tool click on your shape tool then you double click right here so pull that a little bit down then make it up here then center it within that so what we're going to do right now is to make a copy again then center it within the previous one then let's intercept it just like so then hold shift key select the lower one then you go over to trim automatically trims so this object right here contains you know a few fountain uh gold so right now we are going to copy you know the uh what's it called so right click and drag on top of the uh layer then you release your mouse automatically you know uh so many pops up asking you to choose among these so right now we are going to use uh select copy of properties automatically or oh, what is inside this object right here will be transferred there so right now the next step is to go over to the image that background i want to use is the background that we are using so let's go over and blend it all up go over to your you know shape tool no go over to your what's it called interactive field tool uh, transparency tool rather so then you drag the bottom just like so so right now what we're going to do is to blend uh, let's convert to bitmap convert to bitmap then to wet away so right now let's go over uh, to your what's it called you know color hydropower to let's sample the gold color right here just sample it that you point on the main background so come to page down and your keyboard then select this so what we're going to do right now is to go over and blend you know uh this you know texture right here go over uh, to your uh bitmap go back to your effect then you locate you know blur then you locate gaussian blur it's on gaussian blur a dialogue pops up so this slide right here indicates you do not the effect of the blurring you know if you pull it forward just like so you know the blurring is gonna be a little bit you know uh, uh, a little bit you know clearer but if you you know pull the slide down just like so can you see that show the density of the blurness so right now we are good to go with this it's okay that you pack clip this into place would <laughs> ask your keep us let the object release your alt key then you adjust the image just like so good so right now let's light up the background so select the uh object then you look go over and hold control key or keyboard then you tap you know white into the gold just like so that's you know blend it all up so right now what we're going to do is to pack clip this image right inside the background that we created so go over to object locate pack clip place inside frame and you select the frame automatically snap into page good reduce it a little bit then make it bigger a little bit can you see that so right now let's create you know so we are making use of this you know object right here let's make a copy to the center of this object of this picture then center it within that so what we're going to do next is to go over to your uh polygon tool you would 
uh, control key on a keyboard you know to do a perfect polygon you know uh, up here then you change it to the angle to 6 it's okay as my color changes so right now what we're going to do is to copy our property then you make a copy inward just like so then let's change the lower object to white then make a copy inward as well right click then change that to white then let's group it all up so let's apply you know a shadow click on shadow tool then you drag on it just like so good automatically the drop shadow take an effect on the object so let's go over to object then you locate break drop shadow apart automatically it drops then you reduce that a little bit then you copy this to the other side just like so good so our next step right now is to go over and select the picture individually we are going to power clip this into place look at power clip plane side frame select the frame let's go over again let's ungroup this object ungroup it then you locate select your object locate object on the menu locate power clip plane side frame select the frame automatically snap into page select the other picture go back to object locate power clip place inside frame select the uh, object automatically snap right inside the frame so hold alt key or keyboard then you adjust the picture good so our next step right now is to just arrange the test so let's go over to cut this off Control hex then you paste right here Control V automatically it copies then you change it to white so right now what we're going to do is to hit Control K then you change this to uh, what's it called let's use Edward a script font you can decide to use any font it all depends on you but for this project we are using you know uh, this font So right now we're going to do is to make this a little bit bigger, then center it within this, group it all up, center it within that, good. So right now let's give this a shadow, locate your shadow, then you apply shadow on the test, automatically takes effect. Good, so what we're going to do right now is go over to object, you know, look at break drop shadow apart, automatically breaks, then group it all up, center it within the object. Good. So right now what we are going to do is to go over and uh, call their name right from here. Control hex, then you control V to paste. So right now what we are going to do is to select the test that you hit on shift F3, a dialog pops up, you know this uh dialog box show you on how to really you know use uppercase lowercase uh toggle case uh lowercase a uh, sentence case you know and what of you so can you see that so in this case we are going to select title case did you see the effect right here so what we're going to do, what we are going to do next is to go over and change the font to script then change this as well to script good so right now let's position the whole thing inside this you know objects use change the color to white then you go over and change this to uh try jan jan font good so right now what we're gonna do is to make this bigger a little bit make this bigger as well then position it so well so right now what we're going to do is to go over and uh, right click on white then hit F12 let's stick in the outline make it 3 bind fill scale with object then you hit OK good so what we're going to do next is to go over and group it all up then let's make the hand a little bit smaller then select the whole thing center it within each other then group it all up so go over to your uh, shadow tool let's apply shadow a little bit 
good go over and make it 100 percent black good so let's make this 10 good so go back to object locate break drop shadow apart and group it all up center it within the object good so we are good to go with that so what we're going to do next to go over and create you know uh something right here so let's change this to darker gold then let's pack clip that into place then hold alt key or key or select object release alt key adjust the object just like so then let's bring in uh dates so data dates so let's position the date right here change it to white each control page up automatically pops up then you locate your shape to pull this up a little bit then you you know give it a left right alignment then you make it a little bit smaller good so right now let's position our harmonic right here so let's make it a little bit smaller position that's just like so good good can you see that so right now what we're going to do is to just you know put 2022 calendar calendar so right now what we are going to do right now is to hit ctrl k make this a little bit bigger then let's change the font to futura t change this to futura t as well then you go over and hit ctrl k to break this into pieces let's position it just like so then let's intercept that you know just like so good so position this just like so good let's position the calendar just like so good so in this case what we're going to do now is to change this whole thing to green good so right now let's go over and create the next option so what we're going to do right now is to make a copy make a copy just like so then you go over and change this to let's convert it to a uh, bitmap locate you know select right here let's change it to gray scale create an object on top of that then let's change that to green so right now what we're going to do is to go over to your uh, transparency tool then hit on uniform transparency then uh, let's put it as subtract so right now what we're going to do right now is to make a copy of that so that we can see the effect of the grain very effective on that so let's center it within that then let's bitmap it so in this case right now we're going to use rgb it's okay good so right now what we are going to do is to delete all of this then let's create a new object so what we're going to do right now is to just make a copy upward then let's change that uh, to grayscale then let's pack clip this into place so what we're going to do right now is to blend it all up go back uh, to your transparency to blend it then pack clip into place then you go over and change this to a uh, green lighter green good so let's position this so well just like so good right click on this you know spot right here to an appear at the half line then let's hit control page down your keyboard so in this case right now what we are going to use right now is to delete this we don't need that any longer so let's bring up uh, the picture that uh, that we are going to be using for this but clip that into place so right now what we are going to do right now is to right click lock content to uh, 
power clip so that will enable us to adjust the background right click on the background lock it all up again then position this so well just like so so what we're going to do right now is to just you know bring this there to the other side then select the picture right here so let's position this right corner right here so let's select the whole thing make it a little bit smaller so in this case what we are going to do is to position their names let's position their name to the left hand corner just like so then let's position this to the bottom so position this just like so good so let's stack in the gray or the background just like so good so right now what we are going to do is to just you know uh, make the picture a little bit bigger then you pull it down just like so so right now what we're going to do is to just you know let's position this whole thing to the left hand corner pull that pull it to the left hand corner then you reduce it a little bit good so right now pull this up a little bit then let's position this picture right to the other side just like so good so right now let's just position the uh, uh what's it called the dates give the left alignment then you go over and uh, reposition the what's it called calendarion just like so make it bigger then increase the tracking just like so good so can you see that so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking on the button to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button in case we have something coming up so that you'll be prompted that something has been dropped in our channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing right now so bye for now see you in the next video bye